Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Vander Mo Vapes. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to review a single 18650 rest inside firing mech mod by D-Maker. And I'm talking about the Solus mod. Stay tuned. There you go, that was a quick view of the Solus mod by D-Maker. I hope you liked it guys. Well, ang ganda. Um, nakita nyo naman um, the mod that I received. Um, mamaya masidiscribe ko na lang sa inyo to up close. Um, sa close-up natin. Medyo natagalan. Um, it was out for a while now. Nareceive ko to over a month ago. Pero yun, medyo naging busy lang. Kaya ngayon lang tayo nakapag-record ng review. But of course, shout out D-Maker, um, Sir Nolliboy Gonzalez. Maraming maraming salamat sa support sa channel. And yes, to set your expectation, um, this mod was sent to me for the purpose of this review. But of course, as always, Andre Movaves, you know how we do it. Always honest and straight. Um, reviews lang naman tayo. I'll share you what I like, what I don't like about it. But as you all know as well, yung mga matatagal na sa channel, alam naman na hindi ako um, fan ng um, product shaming. Yeah, if I like it, I'll promote it. If not, I'll let you know what I don't like about it. Okay? So, um... Yeah, a counting introduction lang kay um, D Maker. I know some of you um, this might be the first time that you heard about D Maker. Pero matagal na sila sa industry. Um, I believe Sir Nollyboy started um, around 2012. So yeah, that was like 7 years now. Yung simula pa lang ng vaping sa atin here in the Philippines, which is really cool and um, I've seen his work. Astig, ang galing, magaling sila. Their products were handmade, um, or mostly handmade. I may have to give you specs nito so you'll have an idea. Uh, but this was mostly handmade as well, yung Solus. And yeah, bye pack muna. Ayun nga, introduction pala tayo, sorry. Um, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung mga konting nagawa ni um, Sir Nolliboy um, Nolliboy Gonzalez I also flash pictures para may idea kayo baka nakita nyo na to before pero hindi kayo aware um, kung sino yung maker and all first we have the Boschetto mod um, here's the picture and we also have um, Bolo by Artisan Mods Nolliboy also worked with um, Guildhouse and ito yung mga mods na nagawa niya under Guildhouse we have the Exodus version 2.5 which is a hybrid stab wood mod and also the Leviticus and numbers squonk those three were under um, guild house and lastly the pakal mod all right but um there's a lot more na ginawa niya or at least naka, may naka collab siya one of the co-makers maybe but um here are some uh, examples ng mga work ni the maker or ni sir nolibay gonzalez all right so proceed tayo um bigyan ko kayo ng specs um, or features nitong mod na to fully mechanical single 18650 battery detachable internals for cleaning recessed hybrid 510 for direct battery power side firing brass switch with resin button and copper pin finger twist brass battery cap in-house made vivid colors glossy resin casing which ang hirap nito parang tang twister pala um ito maganda Free 24mm stacked tube for series configuration with threaded brass adapter. Everything are buffed a glossy finish. And lastly, the dimension. So um 75mm from um top to bottom, 37mm yung side nya, and um yung lapad nya from the top, or if you're going to look at the um, screws or the firing button, dun yung 29mm. Alright. So um Pahipak lang ulit. Then, dive down na tayo. Whew, it's been a while. Tagal kong nahinto sa pagre-review. Been busy. Um, work, family. Tapos, medyo nagkahabi din kasi. But yun, of course, I'm glad to be back. Um, exciting, nakakamiss. And um, yan, nakakahinayang din. Sobrang tagal nating nahinto. By the way, on top of the Solus mod is Andromeda RDA by Vaping Chronology um, with the uh, Ultim Drip Cap. And the build natin is 
syempre scorpion wires i'm using the one with the 0.10 ohm reading and um bulok natin cotton bacon oh yeah freshly wicked let the power test palit nga ko battery lobat na to eh gamit kong battery ay vtc 5 palit tayo na vtc 5d so yeah and juice cheesecake every ano ba to cheesecake every day cheesecake <laughs> uh, bigay lang to uh, mas birthday gift maraming maraming salamat uh, Trisha Legaspi um, appreciate it saktong sakto kanina wala akong juice nagagamitin for review bibili dapat ako but pagpasok sa shift inabot niya agad maraming maraming salamat appreciate the gift okay power check Airflow ko pala halfway open para mas ma flavor pero try natin ng cloud check ng all the way open. Let's go. Andromeda superb flavor as you all know. So profile sobrang favorite ko. Yun. Favorite RDA. Shout out, Baby Chronology Alexis. Ooh. Ha! Just the way I like it. Hot vapor, superb flavor, solid, solid. Pero mas gusto ko talaga yung mas mainit, parang konte. Amazing power coming out from this brass mod, solid. And um, up. Di ko na pata tagalen. Dive down na tayo. Close up tayo sa Solus mod by T Maker. Stay tuned. There you go, guys. That's how I receive the um, Solus mod by D Maker in a black box. Naka zip lock yung free 24mm um, stacked tube mod niya. Um, later on, papaita ko sa inyo to. Um, Buksan muna natin yung box. This is how I received it. There you go. May parang foam siya. And there's the mod. There you go. Tanggalin ko na. So yan, yung box niya, um, well, ano naman, well secured yung mod nyo. Di siya gagalaw-galaw, di gagalaw-galaw, di magagas-gas, which is very good. Here's the mod. Well polished mod, guys. Look at the quality of the resin. Ito, grabe tong side na to. Ito yung favorite part ko dito. Grabe. Ang ganda, guys. Solid, solid. Pakita ko kayo ng um, pictures pa. Um, di mabigyan justice. Medyo madilim dito. But, sobrang solid. So, yan guys. Disassemble ko na siya. Well, pakita ko lang first. Ito yung top cap niya. Ito yung sinasabi niyang recessed. So, nakalubog yung ate niyo dyan. Um, fits up to 24mm um, atomizer. And, um, yan. Pent holes. Um, hybrid 510. Bottom cap. May vent hole naman. Um, sorry, di ko na napalish yung ilalim. And yan, meron siyang konting designs dito. Probably for venting. Pero wala siyang butas talaga. But it would make your um, brass tube um, cooler. Or mabilis siyang mag cool down. Kasi nga, hindi siya matatrap dun sa ano. 
sa resin. And yeah, you got two screws, one for the smaller tube up top and yung longer tube nyo dito sa bottom. Pakitaw sa inyo, disassemble muna natin. Very simple. Ayan, sobrang polished nya. Ayan, sobrang shiny. <coughs> Battery, 5D. Ayan, body kayo maniwala eh. 5D! Then, bottom cap naman. One thing I like about this mod is um, easy to disassemble and easy to assemble. So, ayan. Ito na yung all brass and copper yung firing pin so hindi nyo ito matatanggal um, hanggat hindi nyo natanggal yung tubes so gamit kayo ng malaki just appropriate for its size tingnan nyo nangyari nagkabunga eh, ginamit, pinilit ko kasi yung maliit na screwdriver so matuto kayo sa akin okay. itong sakto sya uh, may lapad yung screwdriver eh, eh yun, dalaglag na um, so yun, ang ganda ng fit nito yung tolerance nya maluwag, pero okay sa akin yun para madali syang matanggal kesa yung masikip, baka malagay sa risk yung mode nyo mabasag, magasgas kahit sa loob sya, so sayang so ang ganda ng tolerance na pinili nila para dito then on the other side yung sa lower tube naman ayan yung sa palang screw okay, there ayan, gumag gumalaw din sya agad oh ito, ito muna hanggang, syempre resin um, and hindi naman ganun kakapal just enough para ma-encase yung inner tubes sobrang poly sipin nyo ganyan sya, ganyan sya pero napakintab nya ng ganito sorry may fingerprint ko na kung nasa ang kulat ayan pikin ko kayo ng mas malulupit na pictures try ko picturean sa labas para natural light Ay, ganda talaga na itong orange part na to. Favorite color pa ni Macy's yan. So, yun. Para matanggal itong bottom. Ay, bottom tuloy. Bottom. Firing bottom. Kita nyo yung copper. Ayan. Copper pin. Ayan, ba? So, pigilan nyo siya dito. Then, press. Then, twist. Para kumontra lang. Ayan. Ay, shit. Ayan. So, resin din yung firing button ka-partner nung color nung resin nyo kung nasa ang side yung firing button. Then, hintay sya sa brass or nakadikit sya sa brass. Then, you got the springs. Looks stainless. Lambot. Um, less hassle sa cleaning. So, maganda siya. Gusto ko siya. Ang ganda ng tolerance din. And the proper contact. Ayan. Sorry, yan. Dumi ng kamay ko. So, ayan. Um, everything brass. Then, stainless spring. Copper pin. Then, ayan. Ito, um, press fitted yung housing ng firing button. It's all good. Huwag nyo napilitin tanggalin. Technically, ano lang naman siya stopper lang ng firing button, okay? So, yan. Parts. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tong body. So, 10 pieces. Then, we have the um, extension. So, okay. But, um, all in all, 10 pieces. Pakita ko sa inyo yung performance nung extension tube pagka balik natin. Balik na natin siya. Madali lang. Unang-unang yung ikakabit ay yung firing button. Okay? So, ang gawin nyo, kunin nyo muna to. Pasok nyo dyan. Tapos, ishoot nyo dun sa butas. Tapos, pigilan nyo lang siya. I mean, idiin nyo lang. Then, yung spring. Tapos, ito na. So, i-align nyo lang siya. Then, um, ikot nyo lang tong resin button. So, not too tight. Sakto lang. Hindi naman siya basta-basta lumuluwag. So, yan. Okay na siya. There. Next, ay, eto. Eto na muna. Yung smaller tube sa taas. So, Magsusyunga-syunga kung nasan yung threading. Dapat yun yung nasa taas. Sipatin nyo lang guys. Makikita nyo naman yun. Ayan. 
Okay? Teka, ganito pa kabila para madali. Ayan. So, kapag tumapat na siya, kabit nyo na. By the way, guys, hindi kayo malilito kasi yung para sa smaller tube, mas maliit yung screw. Kumpara dun sa, para sa malaki, mas malaki din. Ayan. Ayan, diba? So, kunin natin yung mas maliit. Yan yung ilalagay natin. Dito. And again, yung right size na screwdriver. Tight. Kasi baka mag-crack naman. Baka ma-damage yung resin natin. Yung sakto lang naman. Tsaka kung makikita nyo naman, sakto lang din yung screw nya. Hindi sya lalagpas. Hindi rin kulang. Just enough para ma-hold sya in place. Um... Wala ko na, hindi ako nagka-issue dito, hindi siya gumagalaw. Very nice tolerance all overall. So, solid siya. Then, gan same din. Ayan, diba? Tapat. Tutok nyo lang din. Mas maganda pala pagkaliwa yung panghawak nyo sa brass. So, ayan. Okay. Then, lagay nyo na yung screw na mas mahaba. Again, mas mahabang screw para sa mas mahabang tube. Yung mas maikse para sa mas maiksing tube. Alright. Okay. There. Then, ito na. Yung top cap na. So, naging practice ko na ikabit muna si atomizer. Then, sa kanyo ikabit sa mod. Tapos, ito na. Okay? Pero, papakita ko muna sa inyo up close kung ano itsura niya kapag may um, naka-install na extension. Up close muna tayo sa extension. Sorry sa background noise. Try natin i-disassemble muna. Para siyang promoted. Haha. <laughs> Shoutout, Sir Maui Chan. What's up? Grabe. Sobrang kapal. Pwede pang self-defense tong ano eh. Charot lang. Then, ano, ang taba. Which is good. I like it. Very nice machining. Nice threading. Sobrang kapal. Kapal pa sa mukha mo. Wala akong panukat eh. Hindi ko makita yung, ano ko, panukat ko. Pero, ang kapal. Ano to, yung bottom cap. Medyo close. Kapal. Sobra. Siyempre yung hindi makukompare. Grabe yun. Kapal. So, feeling ko 25mm to. Siguro mga 3mm to. Eh, hindi. Sobra. Mga ganang. 3mm. Feeling ko lang. Then, ito. Ano siya? Self-adjusting. So, ang ganda. So, ang galing, ang galing nito. Ngayon ko lang siya napansin. Ang ganda nung tolerance niya. Ayun o. Kailangan nyo muna siyang i-push. Lagyan niya ng konting effort bago gumalaw. Hindi siya gumagalaw or hindi siya uh, mag-lulus mag-isa. Ah! Magaling, magaling. Ngayon ko lang din nakita to. Meron pala siyang, kita niyo naman, ang dumi, di ba? Meron pala siyang O-ring. So, magand kaya pala maganda yung tolerance niya kasi may O-ring siya. Very smart. Very clever design. Then, you got four vent holes. Ayan. Sorry, ang tagal mag focus But, since well polished, whoop, whoop, fingerprint magnet. Four vent holes, very good. For series, very advisable na madaming vent holes. Ayan, tingnan nyo naman yung may yung contact sa mod. Ang laki, 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 laki. Ganda. Hindi pala siya tama. May cut talaga yung gitna niya na parang rectangle. Ayan, kita nyo yan. Basta yan. Cool. Yan lang. So, yung insulator niyang Delrin, feeling ko Delrin black eh. Hindi ko natatanggalin. Parang press fitted lang din naman. Pero ang bangas nitong o-ring na to. Grabe, ano siya? Ooh, ang sarap. Pindot, pindot. Solid to guys. Try nyo. Ang galing. So, 
Bala kayo, pwede nyo naman balibalik ta rin, pero yung iba gusto pa baba to, kasi downwards, di ba? Pakita ko lang yung eh, pakita ko pala yung height. Ayun o, mas matangkad si, um, extension tube kaysa kay mod. Ang maganda kasi dito, since um, malaki yung play ng self-adjusting pin natin para dun sa connector, mas compatible siya sa mas mara. I mean, magiging compatible siya sa mas maraming mods. Which is good. I like it, guys. There. So, kapit na natin. Sorry. Bagal ng autofocus ng camera. So, ito pala. Wala siyang extra ang bottom cup. Gagamitin nyo na yung bottom cup mismo ng mod. There you go. Buta di ka siya. Yan. Buta mas magandang angle pala to. Ayan guys. Solus mod with extension. Buta natin kung nasan yung design. Ayan. Um, sakto lang, hindi naman masagwa na mas mahaba yung extension ganoon naman talaga, kung gusto nyo mag extension magkakaroon talaga siya ng extension so, kay maarte solid, solid let's bring it back up top um, I'll give you my thoughts about the mod um, pros, cons, price and all that shit try ko rin yung series, up top stay tuned guys and we're back up top guys So yun, nakita nyo naman yung dive down, yung specs, lahat ng parts ng mod, pinakita ko sa inyo, and also how it looks kapag nakakabit yung extension tube. Yeah, sarap. Masarap din pala to. Try nyo. Ngayon ko lang ito na-try. Ngayon ko lang din nalaman na may ito. Ito palang juice, cheesecake everyday. Cheesecake flavor. Parang redundant. Cheesecake yung tatak cheesecake pa yung flavor. 65 ml, 70-30. Hindi ko alam kung magkano. Power check. Grabe, sobrang liit. Ah. Malakas siya para sa single bat na brass tube mod, guys. Okay, okay. I like it. And yun, as promised, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya a series. Pag magdu-dual bat ako, I'll always use yung married bats natin. So, I'm using VTC4 re-wrapped. Yung battery wrap galing Vapor Zycon. So, check the link. Saan ba yun? Check the link. Uh, meron akong battery wrapping tutorial. So, check it out. It's on my channel. Papalit tayo ng atomizer. Um, meron akong nakaready dito na atomizer which is Goon version 1.5 Pakita ko rin sa inyo yung build Kailaan nyo Ayan Yung ilalim, kasi nga self-adjusting yung connector nya Sikipan nyo muna yung para sa taas Then kapag yung ilalim na lang yung may battery rattle Yun yung huli nyong i-adjust okay? So ayan So, may design siya. Kita nyo yung battery wrap nyo. Sa akin, glossy na green. Okay. Goon 1.5. And drip tip. Airweight drip tips. Wait lang. May tumatawag. Hello? Hello? Sino to? Si Kenneth ito. Yung bumili na kahit hindi na kayo buong. Okay. Konting commercial break. May tumawag. So, yun pala. Check out nyo yung um, airweight drip tips uh, Facebook page. We're selling um, drip tips. Um, right now, what we have is um, resin drip tips na lang. Uh, we'll be polishing it. And um, papost na lang din namin. So, yan. Build natin is Series Aliens ng Scorpion Wires Pinas. Um, again, shout out Sir Monch Guzman. Maraming maraming salamat dito. Counting power check, guys. Ito yung agad ah. Power check! Kita nyo ba? Ayan. Power check! Ay! Power check. Kalunod! 
Nakakapagsara ako lang ulit. Halfway. Grabe yung performance din ng ano. Scorpion wires. At um, ang sarap nung pasok ng nick kapag ito yung wires. Mas gusto ko siya pag halfway open. Sobrang laki kasi nung airflow ng Gun 1.5. Grabe yung flavor. Um, yung mga gamit ko palang scorpion wires. Ito na yung bago nila. Same lang naman like before yung core wire pero 38 gauge na yung wrap nila so uh, faster ramp up and better flavor nagkaroon ako ng quick review dun sa squonk alien nya and overall naman um, same mas naging ano lang But for me better yung performance dahil naging um, thinner gauge yung wrap nya I like it better cloud reduction wise and flavor wise guys. Ang ganda ng discard yung ginawa nila ngayon. Halata ang halata talaga yung improvement ng performance ng wire. Again, shout out Scorpion Wise Pinas. Check out their page. And very, very um, affordable. Check nyo na rin yung review ko. Link. Review ko nung dati pa siya. So, imagine nyo na lang na mas nag-improve yung flavor and yung cloud production. Okay. kalunod ha grabe yung flavor lunod na ako babalik ko na siya sa single bat last last na ulit fail whoo Grabe. Balik ko lang. Tanggal lang ako konting vapor. There guys, nabalik ko na siya sa single bat configuration niya. Whew! Na, medyo na-leak out ako dun sa ano. Ah, uh, series. Grabe. Stay hydrated guys. Ano kaya lagi? Tubig. Siguro it's about time to um, discuss the pros and cons. Um, let me start with my pros about this mod. First, design guys. As you can see dun sa dive down and dun sa pictures na pinakita ko sa inyo. Um, maganda yung quality ng resin. Um, knowing na sila rin mismo yung gumawa ng resin. This was not outsourced. Maybe you can request colors, your own colorway. Quality design for me. I like it. Mukha siyang madulas. Wala masyadong grooves but just enough yung cut niya dito sa gilid um, it would help you um, sa grip, para sa grip ng mod yun, unique colorway of course wala kayong kaparehas, may makaparehas mang kayo ng kulay, I'm pretty sure na hindi kayo making parehas na parehas ng outcome maybe the swirl or yung percentage ng color siguro, it would be unique it would be just for you kaya rin um, napansin ko wala siyang serial, meron lang siyang laser engraved na solos which is the name of the mod Um, yeah, that's it. Um, kung baga yung colorway nyo, yun yung serial nyo for your mod to be unique. ba? Diba? So, that's one for me. Next one is craftsmanship. Solid, guys. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is 80% handmade. There's also a chance na hindi identical lahat ng cuts nya, lahat ng grooves, or yung mga curves nya. Kasi nga, it is handmade. Uh, which is something that you would appreciate lalo kung nagko-collect kayo ng, ng mods um, if it's handmade it's a different ano eh, it's a different discussion kasi um, personally for me ah, um, di naman ako solid collector but um, I have quite a few but galing ma-appreciate nyo siya parang ano siya eh, labor of love ba diba? also sa craftsmanship din babagsak yung production mismo ng resin sila lang din yung gumagawa nito um, kaya nga sabi ko kanina nung sa unang pros ko there's a big chance that you could request um, for your own colorway okay so again just contact um, you know D-Maker I'll post um, his Facebook page yung link ng Facebook page niya and um, yung group din nila join kayo para updated kayo guys another pro for me would be the quality um, how I received it tama yung sinabi nila sa specs guys yung pinos nilang specs ng Solus mod ang sabi dito ay everything are buffed glossy finish. So, naniwala ko doon. As in, na-amaze ako. Uh, kasi yun yung unang-unang titignan. Siyempre, pagka-receive mo ng mod, 
pagkabukas mo, di ba? Yung first impression, kumbaga. Sobrang linis, walang fingerprint. Pati yung top cap, bottom cap, sobrang kintab. Um, as in, may point na parang ayaw mo na siyang hawakan or gamitin. So, kudos um, to D-Maker for that. Next, um, pro for me would be its size. Um, compact siya, sobrang... Um, gusto ko siya, especially my favorite ati is low profile. So, syempre, mas babagay lang din siya sa mga um, compact mods. I believe, ito na yung pinakamaliit kong mod. Oo, oh, ito na yata yung pinakamaliit ko na mod. So, solid. Ang ganda. Ang cool. Ang sarap niyang, you know, everyday banger. Um, I know it's resin, just need more care, syempre. Pero, you know, fits in your pocket well, bag. Nakabelt bag ako lagi, kasyang-kasya siya. And, yeah. Yan yung siya kita. Gusto ko, gusto ko yung ganitong size. Then, medyo madami tayong pro kasi. So, jump agad tayo sa next pro ko. Um, detachable siya. Um, Sabi rin sa specs, deta detachable internals for cleaning. Um, yes, mapapadali yung buhay nyo. Hindi siya mahirap tanggalin. Um, ang laking tulong ng screws. And I really like the precision. Yung um, tolerance ng tube sa loob. Hindi siya masikip. Hindi sobrang luwag. Yes, it falls right off pagkatanggal nyo ng screw. But for me, it's a good thing. Pero hindi siya umabot sa point na kahit nakascrew na kumakalog yung tube which is, yeah, makikita yung precision nila dun. Solid siya guys. Galing. One more pro um, since I'm talking about precision and uh, tolerances. Yung, eto, yung connector nung stack tube nila. Ang galing nung, kanina ko lang nakita kasi hindi <laughs> ko siya binaklas ginamit ko lang for a couple of days then binalik ko na sa single bat. Pero yung o-ring nito, sobrang ang galing. Galing. Magaling siya. I like it. So either way, kahit paano nyo pasok, <coughs> solid. Pero yun nga, um, mga siyang promoted yun sa design, but um, I don't care. Uh, mas elips ako sa performance. It's all good. Um, wala man ang problema dun. Siguro you could have um, made it uh, more unique siguro. So far, yung pala yung mga naisip kong um, pros. <laughs> yung palang lang yun. Pero sobrang dami na. Um, Pahipak lang muna. Bago tayo mag-jump sa cons. <sighs> so yan. Uh, jump na tayo sa cons natin. Um, Unang-una kong naisip na con para dito sa mod na to is yung recess niya na 510. With the mod being um, 29mm wide, and 37mm yung widest point sa top if you're looking at the top you could fit more ano, atomizer in terms of diameter diba? Um, but this one it's limited to 24 lang 25 I tried hindi naman hindi kasha um, walang problema sa akin kasi isa lang naman yung mod kong 25mm and hindi ka naman din sya masyadong ginagamit but um, for me, for more versatility siguro in terms of um, RDAs or RTAs na pwede nyong magamit, it could have been better lang for me. If it's not resist, for more direct power siguro, adjust nyo na lang, angat nyo na lang. Um, Na-resist lang naman siya ng parang 1 to 2 millimeters. Clean look naman, yung pagka-resist niya, wala tayong problema dun. But um, hindi nyo masasabi paano kung si consumer is, ang favorite niya is sige, 29, 30mm, 25 diba? Hindi nyo na magagamit dito. Sayang din naman, diba? Um, yun, siguro yun yung isa sa pinaka con ko para sa mod na to, yung pagka-recess niya. Again, for me, hindi siya issue, but I'm just thinking, para dun sa iba, baka maging con siya, diba? Aside from that, um, another con, again, ano na lang to? Nitpicking na lang din talaga. Uh, mas mahaba si extension kaysa sa skate tube. It could have been more um, short, um, I guess. Meron ako dito nga eh. Ito, ito, ito. Meron ako dito extension na super liit. Hindi ko pa na-try dito ah. Hindi ko lang kung kasha. But this is from AFI Customs guys. Um, this is the extension for the Zephyr X. This is for Zephyr mod. Ooh. Uy, kasha siya guys. Kasha. But, eto may connector siya. Pero syempre papasok tong 
copper connector na to sa mod. So, hindi nyo siya makikita. Makikita nyo na lang talaga is yung stainless steel body nya. Pero look at the size difference, guys. Ano laki ng difference, ba? Diba? Parang 1 inch yung uh, difference nya sa size. Ewan ko, siguro matry natin, guys. So, sorry, ah. I know this is a different um, company or different product, but you know, for the sake of others, di ba? Hindi ko nalagyan ng battery, ah. Pero papakita ko na lang. Yan. Cleaner look. Mas cute tignan kung mas maliit. If you really wanna stick to the concept na compact yung mod. I guess the stack should, should be um, compact as well, di ba? Ito, may ba yung battery cup din ng mod to. Extra lang kasi to. Pero meron siyang Delrin. Yung connector niya, Delrin na may copper sa gitna. Hindi lang self-adjusting but, eh syempre, kapag ito sumagad, sasagad din sa kabilang side ng connector yung susunod mong battery, yung pangalawang battery mo, di ba? Then mag adjust ka na lang dito sa ilalim. Try natin magkabit ng, try ko kabit ulit yung VTC force. Tingnan natin kung sasakto. Okay. Pero again, nafarted ako kasi may pro din kasi yung design nila dito sa extension for versatility but for me ay shoot hindi ko pala hindi ko pala nalagay ito so kapit natin para makita nyo din hindi ko pala nalagay yung connector pero hindi naka series build to pero try natin ano lang quick fire lang hmm kasa din naman diba huwag nyo gagawin to sa bahay ha Huwag nyo gagawin, huwag nyo ihi pa kayo. Pinakita ko lang na gumagana siya. Okay. Yun lang naman. Um, parang hindi na net taking yan. Parang dami ko ng ginastify. For me, I prefer lang siguro a shorter extension tube overall. This is my favorite extension tube. Kasi this is the smallest by far. Na meron ako. At nakita ko din sa market. Pakita ko kayo ng picture. Yan yung size difference niya. Comparison nung size or yung height ni extension at ni 18650 na battery. Yun lang. Um, that's my second con for this uh, mod or for the accessory of Solus um, mod. Well, 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 last con ko, very subjective. I wish there were more vent holes. Siguro, there's enough naman na sa top cap and bottom cap. Pero siguro, since meron naman na siyang ridges dito, sana na, na, na utilize um, for more vent holes para mas syempre mas madaling lumamig yung mod natin especially ako mahilig ako sa mga low builds um, kasi nga mahilig ako sa warm vape ako matagal kinano dito alam nyo yung mga trip kong builds so yan mga around point 10 that's my sweet spot kapag um, single bat or parallel if you've been um, vaping for quite a while now Especially with um, fully mechanical mods, mas ma-appreciate ko siya kung mas mabilis mag-cool down si mod. Since may design naman siya na ganun, sana na-utilize natin yun as um, vent hole siguro. Kaya ako nasabing subjective siya kasi yung Solus X. Ito yung picture ng Solus X guys, tingnan nyo. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Yung ginawa nila, tinanggal nila yung part na yun kung saan yung may mga cuts. Then ang nilagyan nila ng cut is yung tube. Well, design-wise, ang ganda niya tignan. Um, nagkaroon ng bagong look yung mod. Still Solus, um, same internals and all, but yung inner tube niya, or yung tube niya, um, isang doon na yung cut. Wala na sa resin mod. Babalik nga tayo, sabi ko ako kanina, subjective con ko siya kasi nga may Solus X na. So, maybe you can disregard that con that I just mentioned. Siguro for more functionality and maximizing its feature, siguro they could have added that. Um, but siguro na realize din nila afterwards kaya ginawa nila yun. And um, that's another version of this mod, uh, Solus X. If you like it, if you like that better, or if must feel nyo yung ganong design, make sure to contact D-Maker or Sir Nolliboy Gonzalez. Yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's all that I can say para sa cons ko. Eh, yung pala minaalala kong pro, surprisingly, malakas siya. <laughs> uh, makala ko parang pakit lang dahil brass and compact, but uh, I'm surprised. Um, di ko lang bakit. Um, sakto lang naman yung thickness nung materials, but um, I guess nag-pay off din yung sinasabi nilang resist um, 510 for direct battery contact. Um, 
Na-enjoy ko siya or siguro kung may voltage drop man kumpara sa copper, very minimal and hindi halata. Um, probably dahil din sa build ko but um, I like um, the power. Uh, kasi alam mo kapag nakatry ka ng, ano eh, ng mahinang mod, you will know, you will notice if you've been... Um, you know, a full mech user for a long time. It's lang, I guess that's it. Um, that's all that I can share about this mod. Well, na enjoy kung gamitin to for like a month and a half. Yeah, natagalan. Um, usually kasi one week ko lang talaga ni stress test and chine check yung mod and review, then post agad. Pero natagalan, I've been busy dami ng yari and um, bakasyon pa. So, punta na tayo ngayon sa pricing ng mod. I know, kanin yung painantay. So, this bad boy. This bundle, the mod, the mod and the extension to its SRP is only at 3,500 pesos. And sabi ko kasi nyo kanina, you have the um, option na yung mod lang yung bilhin. If you don't want the extension tube, it's fine. You have that option. It would be for 3,200. Again, 300 peso difference and you'll get this... Um, very nice extension tube, um, very thick brass, and very nice series connector dito up top. So, um, sobrang sulit naman siya. I really suggest you get the bundle so you get better bang for your buck. Alright? I guess it's on the cheap side, guys. Very, very um, cheap compared to others na lumabas na sa market. Not the cheapest, but um, still, um, provided na resin siya and um, with all the pros that I mentioned Sobrang, sobrang sulit, guys. Sorry pala kayo na pa parang may gamo-gamo. Hindi ko mapatay-patay yung tech. Kita nyo, may, may katabi ko dito na pamalo eh. May, may kuryente. Pero di, tumatagos siya sa sobrang liit niya. Naiinis na ako. Tsaka, sorry din sa background noise. Naglalaro yung mga bata. Lintik kasi hindi maaraw sa labas. Umulan kasi kagabi. Ay, kanina rin. Umulan pala. Pagtawa yung mga bata. Hindi mainit. Diyos ko. I'm recording this at 4pm na. Graveyard kasi tayo. Um, kaya yun. Ito lang yung best time ko. Pag rest day, busy din kasi. So yun, um, D-Maker, medyo bago sila sa game as a, a brand or a company. Pero the modder, the maker, the designer behind this mod has been in the game ever since. Since again, 2012. So, uh, well respected para sa mga matatagal na rin sa industry. Ewan ko, um, let the mod speak for itself na lang guys. Um, if you have friends who owns one, check it out. Uh, make sure to, um, you know, see kung tama yung mga sinabi ko. If you agree, if you don't, um, let me know. And well, if you agree then, um, just comment down below. Uh, I would appreciate it. Kahit um, tahimik yung channel, I'm responsive naman sa mga tao, sa mga nagko-comment. So, um, I guess that's it for my review guys. Maraming maraming salamat. Again, shout out. Okay, Sir Nolivoy ng D-Maker. Um, shout out then, um, Vapor Chronology for the Atomizer. Favorite ko to. My favorite wire, Scorpion Wires. Maraming maraming salamat. Sobrang solid pa rin ang mga gawa nyo hanggang ngayon. Uh, may mga friends pa rin noon na nagtatanong about it and nagahanap. And um, yeah, I hope mas maraming shop ang mag-carry ng um, Scorpion Wires. Sobrang affordable. Pinakamura out um, in the market. So make sure to support it. Check out their page. And yun, kung nakita nyo naman yung test fire natin, kitang kita naman diba and um, promise um, trust me guys um, better dun sa unang release ng Scorpion Wires the one with 38 gauge make sure to check that before you purchase and of course for my shirt um, shout out Thus Clothing Sir Miguel Custodio sobrang solid an orthodox concept store check it out their Facebook page post ko rin yung link below they also have a physical store sa Pasig make sure to check it out and yun lang as always Vape on, vape safe, and vape smart. Support the local. Always, always support your local vape shop, guys. Again, this is Andre of Andre Mo Vapes. Till next video, guys. Peace out. Pero matagal talaga sila sa...